our spiritual journey. Book of the Wisdom of Solomon, if I'm correct. Or the Book of Ecclesiasticus. No, give me that. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15. Begin at verse 1. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15, and at the first verse. All right, let's give him some more juice. I want to hear William's voice ring to these speakers. My mouth is bigger than his. Oh, yes. All right. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15, you and... You would say, oh, yes, to that. <laughs> it's the truth. It is the truth. <laughs> Amen. All right, brother, oh, yes, let's have it. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15, and at verse 1. Mm -hmm. He that feareth the Lord will do good. All right, we must well ask everybody to stand and give the benediction. Because <laughs> the Bible spoke plain here. He that feareth the Lord what? will do good. <laughs> you don't hear no say, nobody <laughs> said amen. <laughs> he that feareth the Lord will do good. Fear have a broad meaning. Respect, honor, to be scared of. He that fear God, he that feareth the Lord will do good. The question is why? What would motivate them to do good? Fear of consequences. I don't say, Pastor Jennings, I do fear God, but I don't do good all the time. But the Bible didn't say he that feared God would do good all the time. No. Because the apostles feared good, fear God. And I can show you in the Bible where they got wrong. That's right. The prophets feared God, and many of them got wrong. That's right. Why? That's the nature of this stuff called flesh. Yes. But when you find yourself do wrong, you'll find yourself come on back to make an effort to do right. That's right. This is what's missing in church right. or in religion at large. That's right. Thank God the fear of God. Fear of God. People are more afraid of getting COVID. <laughs> Where they God, they and they are of God. That's right. They're more afraid of losing their husband or their wife or their job or their pocketbook or their wallet or their house or their clothing more than they fear God. That's right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding, which means this. I got to have understanding to depart from evil. What do I understand? The consequences of the love of evil. Okay. I want to say, well, I hate all evil. How can you say that when you have not experienced all evil? Because there's some evil that'll make you happy. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. So I want to say, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings, what you said that don't make sense. Evil makes you hurt. Not all evil. Woe unto them. Uh-uh, not all evil. There's some evil put a spring on your step. It's true. Make you bob your head and pop your finger. Make you smile. Put your hands behind your head and cross your legs and look up. And just say, You that can understand can say amen. 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 <laughs> the Bible says in the book of Isaiah what? Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. Mm -hmm. Woe unto them that call evil good. You hear that? That's right. God don't want us to call evil good even though it may feel good. He don't want you to look at it as good because if you look at it as good, you're coming right back at it. That's right. Brother, God said hate it. Oh, hate my it. goodness. Didn't it say so? Oh, yes. Hate your own life. Your own life. 
God said that. That's right. You wouldn't. No. Neither will I. No. A man that hit the lottery for forty million dollars don't hate his life. After he hit it, God tell him. After he win, then he find out. Hate your own life. What? what, what wait, wait a minute. What you say, Lord? <laughs> Imagine when he scratch off the ticket. And while he's at the TV looking at all the numbers, hmm. he hear the Truth of God program come on while he hear the numbers read from another television screen. Hmm. Hate your own life. Hate your own life. If you win that money, after you have received the knowledge of God, you can't spend it. That's right. When you don't have the knowledge of God, you can't be held accountable for what you don't know. But when you got the knowledge, and the moment you hear that message, and then you hit $200 million, should I say more? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The Holy Ghost said, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. I put darkness. Call it. Hey, gotta stop running now. Amen. How many of you called evil good? Raise your hand. Everybody might as well put your hand up. You might as well do it if you don't feel like it. Everybody might as well raise your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. <laughs> yeah. Amen. That's the truth of it. That's the truth of it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Ah. And there's some evil out there you still call good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? This stuff want to indulge, want to go somewhere, wow. want to hear something. Amen. See, I learned not to question people about where you get your money from. <laughs> I don't get in your personal business. <laughs> Amen. That's right. There was a man that wrote me a letter and said he hit the lottery and he wanted to donate an X amount of money to the church. <laughs> what you had to tell me you hit the lottery for? <laughs> Shouldn't told me nothing. Because now I got to tell you no. no. You should have just mind your business. That's right. Amen. Just write your letter and say you want to bless the church. Otherwise than that, shut your mouth up. <laughs> Amen. But now, when he fested up, I can't take it. That's right. I can't, I can't take it. Yeah, the church needs it, but I can't take it. No. Because then the word of God would turn against me and become a rock of offense. A stumbling stone and a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel. You know there ain't no preacher going to say that. No. No Amen. way. These preachers are taking a look at what Jake's did. He took Tyler Perry money. Yes, he did. And Tyler Perry got rich for dressing like a woman. That's right. He got rich for committing abomination. Jake's the snake took it. That's right. Amen. That's right. If my brother Huey said, Pastor Jennings, I have uh, $50 million I want to give you. I ain't going to say, Huey, where you got it from. I ain't going to ask you nothing. That's right. That way I stay clear of the judgment of God. <laughs> I ain't going to ask you nothing. Why? Don't be busy bothering other people matters. I ain't asking you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Not one thing. That's right. Amen. Amen. Now, if he's going to tell me, Pastor Jennings, hey, look, man, I won $100 million. I want to give you half of it. Yeah. Don't tell me all that for. Amen. I know it was wrong to play the lottery, but I hit, I hit $100 million. $50 million is you. $50 million for you, PJ. It's for you, buddy. It's for you, boy. Mm. My love. For God, I have to exceed the want for dollars. That's right. And 
when you prioritize, you'll find your love for God will lead you to right back. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe unto them that call evil good. 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 And good evil. And good evil. Evil. Now, the Bible said there's none good but one, and that one is God. And when I call good evil is when I speak against That's right. the words of God. That's right. I admitted some hard things in here. It hurts me. I'm yes. hurting now. Someone said, well, why were you preaching like you enjoy? Well, I enjoyed and I'm in pain. <laughs> Someone said, that don't make sense. You ever hit what is called a funny bone? Oh, yeah. It hurt, and you be laughing at the same time? It's a strange combination. You hurt, and you're laughing, and, and you're rubbing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those scriptures, brother, hit me. Oh, my God. It, it, it's like opening up a box, and there's a cannon in it. And then I can't close the package quick enough. There's this big cannon. There's this big barrel. And it hit me. Boom. <laughs> but I can't run from it. That's right. Why? Get into the kingdom of God is the utmost objective of every child of God. That's right. Who wants to be right with God. Yes. Calling good evil and evil good. Evil good. All right, let's go back to where we were. Back in Ecclesiastes 15 and verse 1. Yes. He that feareth the Lord will do good. He that good. feareth God will do good. And he that hath the knowledge of the law shall... He that, that hath the knowledge, the knowledge of the law... Of the law... Shall obtain her. Shall obtain what? Her. Her. Okay. Who is her? Okay. Wisdom is her. Wisdom bear the title of a female... Her, because the female produces. So wisdom produce. What comes from wisdom is the birth of knowledge and the birth of understanding. Are you listening? Amen. Wisdom is called her. In the book of Proverbs chapter 4 and at verse 5. Listen. Get wisdom. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Get understanding. Forget it not. Don't forget it. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. What? Forsake her not. Do you see this? Right. Don't leave her. And she shall and preserve thee. she shall preserve thee. She'll keep you. Wisdom will keep you. So it bears the title she, yeah. her, yeah. female. That's right. Showing you how valuable, how precious, how tender, and how beautiful wisdom is. That's right. When one is wise, they are productive in their knowledge and they are productive in their understanding. So a whole lot can come from a wise source. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. Do you hear it? In the book exalt of Proverbs. Exalt wisdom. Exalt her. And Fill her up. And she, if you take care of wisdom, she shall promote thee. Wisdom will take care of you. She shall bring thee to honor. She will bring thee to honor. When thou doest, embrace her. When you embrace her, mean you accept her. You bring wisdom close to you. It's not talking about a natural woman. It's talking about the wisdom. intelligence of God. That's right. The intelligence of God or the wisdom of God. So I say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jenny. God is not a her. That's true. God said, if you don't believe that I am he, you shall die in your sins. But the wisdom that comes from him is, is productive. It produces a people. That's why his church bears the title of male and female. That's right. God's church is called sons. In the Old Testament, I believe God told Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my son go, that he may serve me. But then in the New Testament, the church is called bride. Right. So, what is it then? Is it a son or is it a bride? It bears both titles. The church bears the title son, which means we are here to serve God, to give God service. The church bears the title bride because it's a body and the body produces children. And within the body of Christ is male and female. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. 
All right. Back in Ecclesiastes 15 in verse 1. What is it? He that feareth the Lord will do good. He that feareth God will do good. And he that hath the knowledge of the law shall the obtain her. the law. Shall obtain her. Shall obtain her. 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 Shall her. obtain wisdom. Uh -huh. And as a mother shall she meet him. Notice the comparison. Notice the language of scripture. As a mother. And as a mother shall she meet him. She will meet him. And receive him as a wife married of a virgin. And shall receive him as. As a wife. As a wife. Married of a virgin. Married of a virgin. Now an experienced woman and a virgin is two different things. So wisdom is as a version. In other words, it cannot be, don't tamper with it. That's right. Don't abuse it. Don't misuse it. Don't take it for granted. And more importantly, don't violate it. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Don't violate the wisdom of God. Respect it. Humble yourself to it. That's right. Cherish it. Wisdom is glorious. Take care of it. That's right. Honor it. Listen at this. In the book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and at verse 12. Wisdom is glorious. Is glorious. And never fadeth away. It never fade away. Yea, she is easily yea, seen of them that she. love her. Yea, she. Yea, she is easily seen. Is easily seen. Of them that love her. Of them that love her. Love her. So someone that loves wisdom can recognize wisdom. That's right. Like someone that loves foolishness can recognize a fool. That's right. Wisdom brings about stability, humility. It disciplines anxiousness. That's right. It governs them that's in the heritage. But one must be in a wise atmosphere to get the good elements that wisdom brings. Right. You know, there's no need to constantly be around a wise source or wise sources and you still come out of food. Yeah. Have you ever met someone that think they're wise? <laughs> Have you ever met a man or a woman who think they're so deep? Right. I mean, they just really think they're deep and they're more shallow than water that's ankle deep <laughs> that's right. just 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 very shallow yeah. very very shallow yeah. true definition god is the only wise god yeah. our savior yeah. jesus christ yeah. and that lets you know if, if there if, if there is any other god and it isn't right. all of them are dumb, them are dumb. That's right. because the god of heaven declared himself to be the only Wise God. So if there's two more with the one, like you folks been saying, the other two are dumb. They're idiots. They're infidels. They're just straight up stupid. Because there's only one. Now unto the king. Listen at this. In the book of First Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. Unto the king. Eternal. Eternal. Immortal. Immortal. Invisible. Invisible. The only wise the God. The only wise G O D. The only wise G O D. Uh -huh. The honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, that's the end of it. That's the end of so it. So to you that says that there's two more, your other two are dumb. I want <laughs> you to understand it so clear. Your other two gods are dumb, stupid, <laughs> idiots, and hell deserving. That's right. They cannot compete with the only The only wise God. Wise God. God. All right, go back to where you were, Williams. Back in the book of Ecclesiasticus 15 at verse 2. Yeah. And as a mother shall she meet him uh -huh. and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. Bread of understanding. Shall she feed him? All right, hold it. You mm -hmm. know, you just can't read this stuff and keep going. I just have to break just it have down. have to break it down. Notice the language of the scripture. With the bread of understanding. Understanding shall and hold it. Mm-hmm. With the bread of understanding shall Shall she feed him Shall wisdom feed him yeah. Now Understanding is called bread Why is understanding called bread If this Use as an example This Say this is understanding 
and it's called bread. bread. Why is it called bread? If this is bread and this is understanding, I can't just shelve understanding or knowledge on you first. It may be too heavy. You may not can't get it. So being that I must feed you with, with understanding, I have to give it to you like bread. So what I got to do? Break it down. Huh? That's right. Break the bread down. What am I doing? Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. line. Then I have to feed you here a little. Here a little. Eh? Right. Glory to God and there a little. Do Precept. you hear what the word of God says here? For with the bread of understanding. With the bread of understanding. Shall she feed him. Shall she feed, feed him. him. Wisdom properly breaks down a thing and gives you the understanding of it by uttering the knowledge of it. See, I just can't shove understanding on you because you mean I can't get it. So I have to use the wisdom and break it down like bread. Precept upon precept, man. line upon line. And then when you get that understanding, now you got more knowledge than you had before. That's right. You see, the Bible used such a language, and you got to understand the uh, spiritual hieroglyphics of Scripture. Yeah. It's using a very good language here by God's permission. Yeah. Uh -huh. With the bread of understanding. What? With the bread of understanding. With the, with the bread of understanding. Shall she feed him? Shall she feed him? Feed him. Mm -hmm. And give him the water of wisdom to drink. Wait a minute. Yeah. Amen. Now, that lets you know wisdom is a solid and a liquid. Mm -hmm. Why are you squinching so much over there, Wade? No. Is it getting next to you? <laughs> are you about to take off and start running again? <laughs> wisdom is presented here and give as him a the solid water bread yeah. and as a liquid mm. water. water read it son and with the bread of understanding with the shall bread he of understanding him. shall he feed him and give him the water of wisdom and give him the water of wisdom to drink to drink to drink now sometime if I break down the thing as bread Sometimes, even though you understand it, it's hard to digest it. Amen. Hallelujah. So I come back and explain the same thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In a deeper manner, Hallelujah. or a broader manner, Hallelujah. like water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then Hallelujah. you can digest it. Hallelujah. Do you see what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. 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 Bread. Hallelujah. And water Hallelujah. under the heading of wisdom, Hallelujah. showing you wisdom being given in different ways because different people grasp Hallelujah. wisdom in different manner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give me the book of Hebrews. Hallelujah. I want meat and milk. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 5. Here we got the wisdom of God here being called bread. And water. Water. And now we're going to give you the word of God. Hallelujah. And two categories that fall still in a liquid and a solid. In the book of Hebrews. But it's going to show you the two different stages or the two different learning stages of an individual. All right. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 5, and we we'll start at verse 12. This is a good lesson. I hope you can get this. Hallelujah. For when for the time you ought to be teachers. Now, when for the time you should be teachers. givers of information. You have need that one teacher again. It's necessary that you need to kind of back up and let someone reteach you, reinstruct you. That's right. Give you a better understanding and That's right. enhance your information. Uh -huh. You have need that one teach you again, teach you again. which be the first which principles, be the first principles of, the of the oracles of God. 
and are become such as have need of Wait milk. a minute. Read that clear. You are become such. such as have need of milk. That have need of milk. And not of strong meat. Liquid, solid. You have become such that need milk and milk. you can't deal with strong meat. Why? For everyone that useth milk. Tell us what kind of person they are. Is unskillful in the word of righteousness. Why? For he is a babe. Glory to God. Hmm? When you obey, you have to be fed the word of God. Milk. That's right. No need for me to go take a beginner and try to bring you the mark of the beast. Where are you going to know about it? That's right. No need to try to bring to a beginner and break down uh, New Jerusalem, whom the apostles saw come down from God out of heaven and the city lying four square and the breadth and the, the, breadth and the length and the height thereof are equal, and one part 144 cubits, another part 12,000 furlongs, and the name of the apostles was on these. Yeah, need for me to bring you that. No. You were just a beginner. 24 seats around the throne, there set 24 elders clothed in white raiment, they had on their head crowns of gold. I didn't need for me to bring you a beginner of that. That's true. Why? You're just a babe. You yeah. haven't even begun talking yet. That's right. You haven't even started walking yet. You're just being carried. You're not even crawling. And if you're just being carried, you're not ready for bread or meat. Amen. You're still a milk baby. That's right. The reason why you're on milk, because the Bible gave the reason. For everyone that uses milk. No, just a few of them. Everyone that uses milk. No, just about five. For everyone that uses everyone milk. Everyone that uses milk, what condition they're in? Is unskillful. In the word of righteousness. So don't go out there and try to witness to nobody. That's right. Why? Unskillful. Why? For everyone that... Why? Needs, for he is a babe. That's right. You ever seen a baby that come into the world trying to tell another baby to do something and they're both born at the same time? Amen. You don't see no baby the moment they come here and look over at the, other, uh, at the other baby. How much you weigh? How, how much you weigh? How much? No, 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 no. All of them just yelling and hollering and crying. That's right. So when you are babe, you just came into the knowledge of the truth. Don't go out and try to witness to nobody. Don't go out and even try to explain nothing to your family. Good teaching, bro. Why? You may spill the milk. That's right. Or it may come out of you sour. Eh? That's right. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. It may come out of you sour. That's right. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Jenner. Jesus said, go ye in all the world. He ain't talking to you, beginner. Oh. <laughs> he ain't talking to you, beginner. No. Glory to God. He was talking to his apostles. That's right. He sent them out into all the world. All the world. No more than a baby come from a womb and throw on a suit and shoes and go to work. That's right. That's true. They don't do that. The Bible speaks plain. For everyone that That's why a lot of people in the churches are being destroyed and spiritually murdered. Because a baby is trying to preach. That's right. Amen. He, that baby, read Matthew 28, 19, and he come up, get the trinity. God the Father, God the Son. <laughs> yeah. Set that baby down. He's a babe. Yeah. That's right. Set him down. Set him down. Hallelujah to sweet Jesus. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hey, let you hear the word of God talking. For here. everyone that uses milk. That got from pulpit down. Everyone that uses milk. Everyone. Glory to God that use milk has. You're not skillful in God yet. Unskillful. You're unskillful, so therefore you can't write and divide the scriptures yet. Right. You can't properly explain the scriptures yet. You can't balance out Old and New Testament yet. So that's why when you read the scriptures as a babe, you think scriptures are contradicting itself. Right. And out of stupidity and anxiousness, you start fighting truth. Yeah. Why, you are 
baby trying to understand chemistry. Go ahead, brother. Huh? Go ahead. Hey, man, what you mean, chemistry? When I take the Old Testament and the New Testament, I know how to mix the prophet with the apostles without causing explosion. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory to God, I'm able to give the Old Testament and New Testament and mix them. Yeah. Huh? Why? They, the old and the new is inspired by the same spirit. Yeah. I won't hurt nobody. That's right. But when a babe get it, guarantee somebody going to go to hell. Oh, he yeah. going to cause injury. Oh, yeah. Listen. For everyone that uses milk. Babe, milkmen got women preachers. Yeah. Milkmen tell you you can marry and get a second wife and second husband before your first one died. Milkmen tell you that. Why? They don't understand the scriptures. That's right. Milkmen uh, tell you a man can marry a man. Why? They don't, they don't yes. understand the scriptures. No. Them are milk preachers. Amen. Mm -hmm. For everyone that uses milk. How much? Everyone. I want to educate you. Everyone. Nation, like many of you sending me scriptures. Oh, they send me scriptures all over the place trying to convince me there's a trinity. You can send me all. Listen, you can write a new Bible if you like <laughs> and send me that. That's I'm right. a blast it to hell. <laughs> That's right. You know why? I'm not a milkman. No. Scriptures you give me, when you handle them, you sour them. Huh? When they come out of your mouth, it ain't nothing coming out of you but sour milk. That's right. Glory to God, this stuff that we give you comes straight from heaven. Amen. It never goes sour. Amen. When you come right at me trying to tell me there's more than one God, you done knocked over a whole bucket of milk. <laughs> Amen. That's sour teach. Sour. Williams used to be a sour man. Yes, I, huh? yes, I was. Amen. He had nothing but spoiled, rotten, cheap, ungodly milk. Amen. Thanks, God, and when he brought it to me, I kicked this can over. <laughs> huh? And man, he went on back and filled that jug up and came again. I kicked it over. <laughs> and the last time he came to me, I not only kicked it over, I took that bucket and cracked him over the head. Before you know it, he went down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. For everyone that uses milk. You that hear this and you're anxious to tell your mother and your father, your sister and your brother and go argue with preachers. No, 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 no. No, no, don't do that. No. Don't do that. That's right. Sometimes it's milkmen that want to come debate me. That's right. Milkman, good humor man. Good humor man. Huh? That's right. Hey man, good humor man, Mr. Softy. Want to come in here and debate me. Good humor man, Mr. Softy. Hey, still got their white suit on and little bottles of milk. <laughs> Mr. Softy. Mr. Softy. Milkman. Amen. Good humor man. <laughs> eh? That's right. Holy Ghost. Eh? For everyone that uses milk. Everyone. Everyone that uses Let's milk speak. God that use milk is unskillful. You don't know what you're doing. In the word of righteousness. Why? For he is a babe. You're not even crawling yet. The devil's still mm -hmm. carrying you. Mm. The devil haven't even set you down on the ground and to be qualified to fight anybody. Even the devil's carrying you. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. That's right. And sometimes the, most, the problem with some of you anxious babies, you, 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 only, you, only, you don't even want to stay in the devil's arms long enough. You go squirm <laughs> in his arm <laughs> and you jump out and try to debate. <laughs> Shut up. That's right. That's right. Got dirty little baby. He is a babe. Go change your scriptures. You done messed on yourself. Go change your scriptures. Or it takes God. You done soiled yourself. Go change your scripture. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. And that's what you have on social media. A bunch of dumb, ignorant, spoiled milk babies. Amen. Hey Amen. Sometimes these babies get on the internet and it'd be three or four of them on one page talking about <laughs> Pastor Jennings, talking about the truth of God, fighting me about speaking in tongues, fighting me about one God, a bunch of dumb, ignorant babies. And you can tell they're babies, babies. because when they get the scriptures and the junk they be saying, Amen. the junk they be saying, My Lord. imagine that a man trying to tell you the word of God with a hat on. That's right. That shows he's a baby. He's he ain't, a baby. He, he done got sense enough to know 
You can't have your head covered. That's right. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. The Bible said if a man a prophesy, pray or prophesy having his head covered, he dishonor his head. Prophecy, you can read prophecy. Yeah. Out of respect to the book of prophecy, take your head off. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. What do you do? First Corinthians 11 and verse I 4. I don't even read the Bible with a hat on. That's eh? wonderful. I, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't hallelujah. Even read the Bible with a hat on. Hallelujah. If I'm going to read the Bible, my hat got to come off. That's right. What? Every man oh, praying. Thank God, because I'm going into the book of prophecy. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto hallelujah. God into the hallelujah. book hallelujah. of prophecy. Hallelujah. And whenever hallelujah. I'm going to read hallelujah. the word of God hallelujah. out of respect. Hallelujah. 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 Out of respect. Hallelujah. I'm going to take my hat off. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. I'm going, I'm going to take my hat off. Hallelujah. Set it down. Hallelujah. Go and take God Hallelujah. out of respect, I said. Hallelujah. To what the word of God said. First Corinthians 11 and verse 4. Every man that do what? Every man praying or praying prophesying. Or prophesying. Having his head covered. Hey, listen, listen. Someone said, listen. There are prayers in here. I can't even read a prayer yeah. and have my head covered. That's right. If I read, our Father, which art in heaven. No, 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 no. I, That's right. That's right. Huh? Go ahead, man. Hey, man. Go ahead. I read when Jesus was on the cross, early, early, in my South Boston. Uh, no, no, no. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Why? That's still a prayer. Still a prayer. Hallelujah. You babies ought to know better. Stop goo gooing, gag gagging against the truth of God and just learn. That's it. Glory to God, you will learn more from this program than all the years you walked earth. That's right. You that fight speaking in tongues, you're nothing but a baby. A baby. You that fight baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, you are a dirty baby. That's right. You that try to justify Trinity, you are nothing but a dirty baby. That's right. And For everyone that uses milk, everyone that uses milk. He's oh, unskillful in the word of righteousness. And, 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 and God has made me a man of God. That's why I'm sound in it. Go ahead. That's right. I'm sound in it. That's right. I'm not a baby. Oh, no. Lord, that God, we're able to dive into the prophets, into the apostles, and strip it to pieces. Hallelujah. And make it plain. That's right. While you babies are still fumbling around over scriptures that you don't even understand. That's right. Amen. That's why you babies are on social media hollering about Pastor Jennings because a grown man spanked you and you cried. <laughs> That's, and right. That's right. You cried. <laughs> Pastor Jennings. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Pastor Jennings is wrong. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Jennings. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> That's right. Praise his great name. Hallelujah. Praise his great name. Hallelujah. All right. For everyone that uses milk. Word of God is milk. Is unskillful in the word of righteousness. And when you just got started, you ain't ready to use it. Why? For he is a babe. You, 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 just, you just arrived. Just arrived. You just arrived in the church. You've just been born into the body. That's right. Hey Amen. You still got plenty of afterbirth all on you. Yeah. What do you mean? You haven't yet mastered your new birth. Amen. You haven't yet mastered the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the scriptures of God. Yeah. Afterbirth of a child is proof that it came from the darkness. That's right. And when it comes from the darkness of the womb of the mother, it still has the residue of the afterbirth of the placenta. That's why the doctor got to clean it up. Yeah. And then the doctor got to weigh it. That's right. See how much you weigh when it get here. Yeah. You put on weight when you are a sinner. Oh, yes. The Bible said, let us lay aside every weight of every sin. Weight of sin. We're it so easy to beset us and let us run with the uh, the what? Race. The race. The race that, that is set, set before us. Look into who? Unto Jesus. Unto Jesus. The author and finisher of our faith. God, the author and finisher of our faith. So you little dirty, snotty, low Bible toting babies. <laughs> Amen. That's why you fight speaking in tongues, because you can't talk. Can't. You're still Googling with the Bible. That's right. Huh? That's right. You're still Googling with the Bible. Hey, man, I understand why you think there's three distinct persons in the Godhead. A little baby can't count. 
<laughs> I don't I, I, I really don't expect don't no expect. more than that out of you. You yes. was a little baby. It's a babe. Hey Amen. That's why you down there, amen, in the natural, the mother have to teach it. One, baby can't even say it. Uh, <laughs> one. <laughs> Say one. <laughs> Here I come along. Say one God. Oh God. <laughs> how, how, how many gods it is? <laughs> <laughs> I come on back. No, no, that's not right. That's, that's right. Not, <laughs> no, no. Come on now. That's really How many gods is this? <laughs> <laughs> he is a babe. You little dirty sour milk baby. That's right. Amen. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. So that's why you find these folks on internet hollering and crying because crying. Papa Jennings took the Bible and Bank the babies all around the world. That's Amen. why you find this little fella crying, that little fella crying, that little fella crying, that little, why? He is a babe. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 If you wonder why I don't cry when you hit at me? <laughs> I don't feel it. A newborn hit the mother. That stuff don't phase mama. No. Huh? Mama don't, don't hardly feel that stuff. No. You little dirty pants baby preachers that hit us, I don't feel it. No. <laughs> when you send me emails fighting, I don't feel it. No way. You might as well get ready to wipe your nose and let me take the scriptures and clean you up so you can stop messing on yourself with the lies that you teach. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's it. Come on back. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Call me arrogant. Call me separate. He think he's something. No, I don't think I'm something. I know I'm a preacher. That's right. And I know God made me a preacher. Oh, yes. What did the Holy Ghost say? For everyone that uses milk. You know, you know, you know, you know this going to burn them up. Yes, it will. Oh, yes. I'm, I guarantee oh, yeah. there's some baby now. Put a thumbs down on it. <laughs> That's right. Hey, man, they're going to make a little video while they rubbing their backside <laughs> hurting from the scripture. That's right. What is it? For everyone that uses milk. Everyone that uses milk is unskillful. In the word of righteousness. Why? For he is a babe. So when you just get started, brothers and sisters, do not go out trying to debate no one. Don't go out trying to argue with nobody. Don't try to have a biblical confrontation with nobody. Yeah. It doesn't matter how zealous you are. You know, a child can be overzealous. Yes. So sometimes you think it can walk because now it pulls up and stands and it even realizes it's in a position it never was in before. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. When the child pull up and stand, that child know, wait a minute, things yeah. look different. I'm, I'm at a different level. Yeah. Because the child been on his belly for so long. Go ahead, brother. So being on his belly for so long, it's used to looking at its surroundings from a certain level of Go looking, Go ahead. from a certain view. So now it pulls up and stand. Yeah. Even the child knows, wait a minute. That's right. Sometimes that child look funny. That's right. And then they sit down, they fall, boom. Then the child go back again. Yeah. Until it get used to the height. That's it. And before it started walking on its own, it'll start holding something and moving. Yeah. Why? The child is not yet certain. Holding on to something and walking is a form of safety. That's right. Mm -hmm. It feels more safe holding on to something until it let go. That's right. And even when it let go and begin to walk, he or she still falls. Still falls. Sometimes the fall is more painful than other times because they start crying and their mother or daddy got to pick it up. That's right. You preachers, you tripped over uh, Matthew 20 and 19 and fell and cracked your head and came up. Oh, there's a trinity. Amen. Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. Yeah. 
The Holy Ghost is the third person in the Godhead, Amen. you liar. Amen. Listen to the old troublemaker now. Listen to Papa Jennings, you liar. That's right. I'm going to take the whip of the scriptures and weigh your can out as long as God has my rather large mouth blasting yes. the whip of the scriptures upon creation. And many among them shall stumble. Many among them shall stumble, shall stumble and fall, fall and be broken, broken and be snared and, and be taken. taken. That's it. That's right. When you're a baby, you stumble. Stumble. When you're a baby, you fall. Oh, yes. And it happens repetitiously until you learn balance. Mm. Go ahead. When a child stands and able to walk without the constantly falling, yes. it's learning balance. That's right. Not only that, now the child begins to trust and rely on the strength that is in the legs. And he, re he and she realize, I can stand now. That's right. Takes time to stand, stand. and walk and remain standing. That's right. Hear us. Ignore these diaper men that's on social media. That's they right. are diaper men. That's right. Look, up in the pulpit, in the church. Is it a bird? No. Is it a plan? No. It's diaper man. <laughs> Amen. It's diaper man. Amen. Oh, yes. It's diaper man. A dirty, no good, stinking apostle or bishop or elder or pastor that done messed on himself with all the lies that he gave his congregation. It's diaper man. That's right. Your pastor. That's right. Diaper man. Diaper man. Your minister. Yes. Diaper man. That's right. Your elder. Yeah. Diaper man. Amen. Am I right? That's right. That's right. What did he say? Everyone that uses milk. Everyone. Everyone that uses milk. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. That use milk. Is unskillful. Is unskillful. In the word of righteousness. What is he? For he is a babe. All right, come on, what else was that? But strong meat. Strong meat. Sound teaching is who? Belongeth to them that it are. It belongs. Belongeth to them. To them. That are of full age. Holy. Full age, naturally, them that mature. That's right. And they can chew their meat at the pace that they choose and then digest the meat. So when you in God for a reasonable length of time, yeah. you graduate from milk, mm -hmm. from the beginning stages of walking with God yeah. to long-term Stag is walking with God. So now, scriptures were in your youth of walking with God when you was a novice, a beginner, that used to hurt you, you used to cry about, you used to get angry about. Now, as the years go on, you find yourself now able to digest those scriptures. You don't get angry with them like you used to. That's right. You, you, you function better with the scriptures. Yeah. Meat. Meat. So now you can handle certain deep things of God. Now you're ready for certain scriptures right. that you wasn't ready for in the beginning. Right. You're ready for certain food yeah. in the scriptures. Yeah. Certain scriptural foods now you can digest. Amen. Because you couldn't do it in the beginning because you was a novice, you was a beginner. Yeah. Something simple as speaking in tongue right after you receive the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. You hear speaking in tongue being preached and you're like, Pastor Jesus, I don't speak in tongues. Is something wrong with me? Because you haven't yet learned not only to wait, but how to wait and what to do while you're waiting. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So you have to learn. The more you learn, the more you grow. Yes. The more you learn, the better you perform. <laughs> Even naturally. If someone can teach you something to sharpen your skill, be it mentally, emotionally, or physically. Sharpen your skill and you can see how you have gotten better. The information have enhanced your talent. That's right. Would you not have a hunger and a thirst to learn more? Yeah. Or would you constantly hang around a fool that can't teach you nothing? Amen. 
A wise person loves to mingle with wisdom. So when wisdom is discharged, they can digest that wisdom and apply it to self-development, which is self-enhancement. Any and everybody who really wants to be right with God will leave these tele-evangelistic milkmen alone. That's right. They ain't feed you nothing. No. That's why the churches are so weak, so frail, yeah. so fragile. <laughs> because no meat is being distributed among nobody. That's right. The holy book says. But strong meat. What kind? Strong meat. Notice the language of the Bible. It never just said meat. It gave you what? Hold, hold it, Pastor. Hold, 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 hold that. All meat is not strong. You don't believe me? Chew it. There's some meat you get to chew and it hurts your jaw. Yeah. That jaw work overtime. Oh, yeah. You wonder, is it broke down yet? <laughs> strong meat, that stuff can be tough. That's right. And then there's some meat that thing is cooked so well, when you cut it, it just fall like butter. That's right. And when you chew it, it melts in your mouth and not in your hand. Yes. <laughs> but strong meat. And there's some meat you be chewing almost like a cow chewing grass. Somebody asks you, you still got that food in your mouth? Mm. <laughs> strong, strong meat. Strong meat. It's for them. But, but strong meat belongeth. But strong meat is for them. Belongeth to them it that are of full age. Them that are mature in God, that yeah. have grown in God. Many yeah. of you apostolics and Pentecostals haven't got beyond Acts 38. Right. Or Acts 2 4. That's right. And you're running in that same circle years, 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 have not grown, have not received no more wisdom, have not received no more knowledge, have not received no understanding. No meat is being cut and no uh, scriptures are being broken down. Right. Now, scriptures have to be broken down so fine. Until it's not only edible, it's drinkable. Do you see what I'm telling you? Scriptures have to be broken down so fine that not only you can eat it, you can drink it. That's right. Are you kidding me? Amen. You take a mother who's breastfeeding any of her children. She eat collard greens, turnip greens, kale, bok choy. Good fish, good chicken. She may eat lamb. I don't know. I hate lamb. But for you that love lamb, may the lamb be with you. <laughs> but the woman that eats proper, the chemicals in the body breaks down the food, and therefore the food come in the form of milk. Milk. So the child is actually drinking all what she ate. Are you listening? That's right. The scriptures must be broken down. Yes. That you may be able to drink yes. when you are a beginner, and that you may be able to eat yes. when you've been in this for a long period of time. That's right. Are you getting me? No. Read quick so I can knock off. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. Yes. Even those who by reason of use have their by senses. Reasonable use. Have, have their senses, their senses exercise, exercise to discern both to discern good, both good and, evil. and evil. And because a babe can't discern good and evil. Right. Not at all. Amen. Uh, the baby will look at a criminal and start laughing. That's huh? true. Yeah. Criminal will break inside of a house and walk in the baby's room. If the baby is woke and laying there and look at him, the baby may slap at the criminal and just laugh. Why? The baby does not yet know right from wrong. That's right. When you're a beginner, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, and to my wonderful enemies, when you're a beginner, you don't know. Mm -hmm. And then you can tell whether an individual know or not, just listen at them talk. That's right. Listen at the scriptures they use and how they use them. They, use them. they try to dive. You know, if I don't know how to swim, I'm not jumping in the ocean. No way. I stick with the tub. <laughs> That's right. That way I can get out when I'm ready. <laughs> Are you getting me? That's right. 
If you just got started, why are you trying to dive in Revelation? Why are you trying to dive in Daniel? Why are you trying to dive in Ezekiel? Yeah. Why are you trying to dive in all the deep things in the Bible? Yeah. Some people write me, Pastor Jim, I don't understand the mark of the beast. I've been listening to you for one month now. I want to know what the mark of the beast means. Repent of your sins and be <laughs> baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Learn how to seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. That's it. You can worry about the beast later. <laughs> That's right. First thing first. That's right. Old folks says it this way. Don't put the cart in front of the horse. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Anybody want to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ? If you want it, stand on your feet tonight. If not, God give us all something good. All right. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer once again. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, again for the good word of God. We thank you, Father God, for the man of God and for the wisdom and knowledge and understanding you put in his mouth. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing us and allowing us to hear thine word, to hear wisdom, knowledge, and understanding being displayed. Bless us now, Father God, that we may not only be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine word. Remember the man of God and keep him, Father God, by your spirit and by your power. Remember each one of us, O oh God. Remember those that's waiting on the Holy Ghost, that they may be filled with thine spirit. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you've been to us. And we thank you, Father God, so much for all that you've done for us thus far. Father God, we do pray and ask all these things. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.